All right, y'all. Um, it is 5.01. Um, and so we're going to go ahead and get started. And if folks hop on, then great. Uh, we'll go ahead and greet them as they come. But I want to make sure that we make the most of our time, especially since 5.40 is when the Zoom call is going to shut it off. Um, and so I want to make sure that we get the most information done in the time that we have available. Um, I do want to go ahead and just pray um, right now just for VBS. Um, and again, just for the heart of what we're trying to accomplish and just continue to ask God to guide our steps, praying for each of the directors across the state. So let's do that. So God, right now we just praise you for the way that you've been guiding this process, directing our steps. God, thank you so much for the vision that you're laying on our hearts to build confidence in the hearts of these kids so that they can stand um, against the culture that is becoming more and more oppositional um, towards a life of faith and towards a sincere devotion to Jesus. And so God, as much as we want to take care of all the details, make sure that all the right people are in place, make sure that everything is arranged and organized, God, we don't want to lose sight of the fact that we need you to show up. God, we desperately need you to guide us, not in the, in the checking off of boxes, but in the preparation of our spirits and the spirits of our leaders so that we are prepared um, to cultivate confidence in the hearts of our kids. And so I pray for two things. I pray the kids would ask the questions that they've always had but never felt like they could ask and that they would get the answers that they need to solidify and clarify the foundation of their faith. And God, we also pray um, for um, just that you would bring them to a place where they can express their stories and the testimony of what you have accomplished and done in their lives. So they have a weapon against the enemy and also a tool to tell others about you. And so, God, again, may just don't let us get so caught up in the details that we forget um, that that's the heart to see you show up and develop confidence in these kids like never before. And so guide us on how to do that. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. What's up, Washburns? Y'all there? Yes, we're here. Nice. Okay. Well, right now it's just you and me, so you all get to be the pay attention and ask any questions that everybody else might have as well. So <laughs> let's let's fly through this because again, we're we're gonna be done in thirty five minutes. So, quick reminder from last week, from the last meeting, is we're working on dates, director, and budgets. Date, director, and budget. Have you all been able to have a conversation with Seth about budget? Not budget. We yeah. have the dates and the directors, but not the budget. Nice. Cool. So um, that's awesome. And then we'll talk about some spreadsheets down below that are going to allow you to get us that information. Um, so let's talk through the people piece because the people piece is the most important. Um, and so in, in my mind, there are directors and there are coordinators. And the directors are the people that the VBS director is going to interface directly with. And so there's seven of them. <laughs> Don't go any higher than that. That actually may be a stretch. We may talk about how to pull some of those together. Um, the most important person probably is your people person. Um, that is the person that's going to, again, they're not going to personally oversee all these areas. The, you just want to get someone on board who has high capacity to lead other people. Um, and they're going to oversee your promotion. They're going to oversee your kid's registration and your check-in. Um, so, and they're going to oversee your leaders and your ministry safe. Again, they don't have to man and run those three pieces themselves. As a matter of fact, I would not suggest anybody run all three of those themselves. They're going to find the people who can do those things. And so again, they're going to make sure that you got someone at your VBS table. Like they're going to make sure. So your promo person is the person that, that's making sure that 
the cards are in the right place on the right day, your foyer banner set up, you got people running your table. So that's the person over program. The person who's over check-in, uh, they're uh, like, they're my favorite person. And actually, Kelsey and I were talking about what I wanted to run this year. And I always, it's hard for me to give up check-in because it's the only area that parents experience themselves. And so like, I, in my mind, you've got to hit a home run on check-in. And so don't let check-in be just kind of a, a secondary thought. Like it's, it's got to be a place that you win and win well, just because new families, that's the only, that's the, that's the thing that um, your, your new parents are going to experience. Um, and anyway, so then you got, uh, leaders in ministry safe. Um, it's going to be tough to hand that off to anybody, but the kid life pastor. So that may be something that boomerangs back to you. But if you've got other folks that are, um, trained in that area and they are willing and you can ask them and they're willing to help you get people through ministry safe, heck yeah, you need to ask somebody else, um, to own that so that you can focus on all the other areas of EBS. So that's that's the people, the people piece. And so finding your people, director, and then those three coordinators under them. Um, decor. So there's two types of decor. Um, directors. Uh, there are the creative decor people who are great at giving you a vision of what your foyer could look like and what that all, that's all going to be like. Like, I'm, I'm just going to tell you, I've, I've seen the packet that Audra Allen is starting to put together, and it's spectacular. And so you honestly don't need a creative person at the helm. You need an implementer. So you need someone who is great at breaking tasks apart and assigning them to people. Um, just because whenever you all do decor, it's easy, typically, to get a lot of people in the building for that um, that setup piece. So you need someone who's very good at then breaking things apart, putting owners in place of all the different areas, and then making sure that they're assigning all people all the people to the right place so that things keep moving. That's that's the kind of person you want as your decor coordinator, not a creative who can come up with the vision of what it's all gonna look like. Um, so, all good so far, Megan? Any questions thus far? Okay, we'll keep going. Um, next thing is your stage director. Um, your stage director, this is the person, may, it may be you as the kid life pastor. Um, it may be someone else that you trust to, to craft that, but they're the, they're the one who's gonna be in charge of everything that happens on the stage. And so under them, you're gonna have your stage director or you're gonna may help your stage director recruit these people, but you, you need MCs. Um, high energy folks who are gonna move things forward from the stage. Um, you're gonna need someone who oversees game time. And when I talk about someone who oversees game time, I'm mainly talking about someone who is managing all the stuff for game time. Because your MCs are gonna know the game well enough to keep it moving, to provide hype in the midst of it, but you need someone that's not your stage person who is managing just all the stuff of game time because game time always involves having stuff in the right place at the right time. And so it's always good to have that person just so it's their only concern is game time stuff. Uh, in addition to that, you're gonna wanna recruit a worship team leader. Um, this is not just a worship leader who can do the motions. This is someone who can set the tone for the team. This is someone who can um, really understands the role of worship and can communicate it to your team in a way that they know that they're not the superstar. They are not the, the focus and the point of attention, but that needs to be Jesus. And their job is to get out of the way and set the tone and be a model of worship. So you want someone who can communicate that well. Um, and so, again, you need a, not just a dancer, but a leader. And then finally, production. And honestly, like just connect with your production folks at church, make sure they're on board. Uh, but you wanna make sure that that's something you communicate well ahead of time. So it's no surprise to them and ask them rather than assuming 
that they're going to do it. Um, it's just a common courtesy. Rather than being like, this is tier one, you're going to do it. Like, instead, just be like, hey, this is a huge role because production is all about what you see and hear on the stage environment. And so making sure that um, you know that you see how valuable they are and that you invite them to be a part of that. So that's all your stage folks, the MCs, game time, worship team leader, and production. Um, and then here's some other folks, um, activities. So we are not doing crafts. So you don't need a crafts director, but activities will involve crafts. Um, and so activities, honestly, is going to be someone, again, who can handle a lot of stuff. Um, because you, you won't need as many um, activities, folks to run activities because of how important small group leaders are going to be. We'll talk about that in a second. And so what you really need is someone who can pull together a team and make sure that all the elements for the activities get built and prepared and stored and pulled out at the right time. And so that, that really is kind of the personality you're looking for for the activities is again, you want an admin leader type personality who can break apart tasks. And when you have work nights, make sure that the right things are happening at the right time. And again, we'll try to, we'll try to communicate that in these calls so that you could be leading that activities person well, as well as have some documentation for that. But that's the personality you're for activities. And then you want someone, of course, because they're going to be activities, you want to be lots of money. Food. Man, this is someone who just loves to feed people. Just loves to feed people. Um, and then could come up with a, a good cost-effective plan and then implement it and use people to pull that off. So there you go. Um, so this year, there's going to be a, a need for a new role. Um, and that is someone who is a small group leader type. Because um, it used to be that we would just recruit color team leaders and then just kind of launch them with, hey, here's your color team leaders, go have lots of fun. But this year, because there's so much structure to what happens beforehand and what happens at the end, um, you're going to need someone who can own that process of training small groups. So that people feel confident um, in, in sitting in, with a group of 10 kids and knowing what to do beforehand and knowing what we're trying to accomplish at the end of the DBS. Because this is so new, um, honestly, this probably could be your best leader. Um, just your best, whoever is best in the room during your kid life, this could be someone that you could definitely involve in training um, and doing Involved. You, as the kid life pastor, are going to be heavily involved in this process. Um, but you probably want somebody uh, who could also maybe hear it from somebody else. So it's not just you saying it, but they're saying it. And then under them, of course, you want your color team leaders. Um, and so, again, just making sure that, because you're going to have, because uh, Megan and Justin, you guys are going to be. Uh, about the same size as us. And so we're only going to have two landing areas. We're going to have a landing place for first, for those who are going into first, second, and third, and the landing area for those who are going into fourth, fifth, and sixth. And so I'm going to have leaders over the youngers and leader and a color team leader over the older. And then under them, kind of making sure that they maybe aren't even leading a small group but they're free to kind of hop in and check on all the small group leaders and make sure that everybody's doing well. So that at the end of the night, they can give feedback. Okay, yes. So you're just doing two colored sides. I'm going to do two colored sides. And the main reason for that is because that's how many breakouts we have. And so, so at the end of large group, I've got one one group going to food and one group going and so just to collect to, to make it easy um, as far as communicating two colors two two teams and then also man it just makes game time so much fun because then it's like who's gonna win is it, is it purple or is it green um, if you want to get crazy you can do boys versus girls like they're, they're 
it's just it, it, I'm excited uh, about the energy that that brings. Uh, and so, so yeah, so that is. So then you got those two color team leaders, and then you got all these small group leaders under them. Um, and again, maybe it is those two color team leaders are your small group leader trainers. And so you can't be in both rooms during small groups as a kid life pastor. So you want to make sure that you're giving them authority and you make them look like they know what they're talking about during that training. So that when they come up, they've already been doing some training. So whenever they come up and they're like, hey, I saw you were struggling a little here, try this. Because they've been involved and had a voice in the training, they now have weight and authority in, in helping people get better or it means something when they celebrate and you're like you just killed that like it means more because they were part of the training team up front so anyway and the last one um is vbsg um making sure that you have something for kids the younger the kids who, who are too young to participate in vbs have something for them so you need someone who's going to run that and then manage that group. So again, that that are those are the main leaders that you want to be pursuing. And again, I, I would I would you kind of see how they're subdivided. Like I would be communicating with your stage person and then like your stage person be setting the tone for MCs, game time, worship leader, all that kind of stuff. Um, and then you kind of see that kind of so those, those are the directors and some descriptions of what they're going to look like. Um, any questions from you guys as the uh, designated questions asker of all <coughs> campuses? What, of all of the, yeah. Yeah, yeah. What did you say was, v, that last one was VBS what? VBS Junior. One more time. VBS Junior. Oh, hey, and uh, <laughs> let, me, let me send you guys a, a uh, text real quick, Megan, because um, I'm, I'm, this document, you can't even see it, can you? Oops, I couldn't hear you. What? Was it on Slack? Yes, it was on Slack. Okay, yes. I saw it, but I don't have it open because I'm just on my phone. Perfect. Okay, no worries. No worries. Well, so all you, everything I'm talking through, like, it's it's there. And so, like, don't don't fret about taking copious notes. Um, and so, it, any, other, any other questions about directors and coordinators? Would it be good, I was thinking about this when you were talking about maybe as junior and small groups and to have a position where, like, did you already mention somebody being a team lead over the whole one team and a team leader yeah, for the whole yeah. other team? And then having maybe floaters that can run between each small groups to see if they need anything? Yeah, so I that, think that, I, that, that's that's spot on. You're, you're, you're exactly right. Um, having it to where um, your color team leaders aren't leading a small group, so that, so that they're able to kind of see the room and if anybody is starting to struggle, they can hop in. Or they're, they're again, like, if, if I'm going to tell my color team leaders, like, hey, you're the, you're the chief, you're the CCO. You're the chief celebration officer. Like, you need to be looking for when people are doing, the, like, doing awesome. And you need to make sure they know they're doing awesome. Because uh, it just, if, you, if that's your goal, you're definitely going to see opportunities to coach and help people get better. But if you're worried first and foremost about celebrating, you're just always going to have the right ratio of praise versus correction. So, I, but I love what you're saying. Just having, having someone who's making sure everybody's got what they need and all that. Yes, 100%. Okay. It might be more than just the leader. They might need to get somebody that maybe they don't you know, small groups that could be Instead of, if they're not good with kids, they can help out and just check in to see if anybody has any questions. Because I know there's a moment where if a student's hurt or, or maybe there's a student not feeling good, mm. and I'm like, well, I can't just leave the eight other kids. Like, or I could. I mean, that's what Jesus did. But um, <laughs> yes. I'm comfortable leaving eight, eight kids under unattended. So yeah. I need somebody to help me out. Yeah, that's, that's a great idea. And so, yeah, if you want to use your activities folks to do that. Um, or have others that you recruit. I think that's that's smart. Anything that like that would be awesome. Okay. Any other questions? 
All right. Well, let's let's do this. Um, I'm 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 gonna pull this up so you can see it. Uh, all right. So this um, this is exciting, y'all. Um, this is um, there we go. Now just here. So this is March, and just so you know, real quick, dark blue is what Creative doing is doing. Light blue is what you're responsible for, and red is what we who are kind of running point on this event are responsible for. So you can see we've gotten a little work going on here. We've already done film shoots. And so honestly, all the video is done for, um, for, for VBS. And so but we, we finished, we wrapped last week. And so it looks great. We're excited about it. Um, you kind of see creative is going to be doing a lot of things coming up. They've already created a spreadsheet for us that we're going to talk about. Um, but you can see right here is the print spreadsheet info is due. We're going to hop into that here in just a second and take a look at what that means. And on the 27th, registration links are due. Now, it says that that's a campus role, not a campus role. Um, that is going to be something that we are providing will go in and customize that. So we'll talk about that here. Uh, but also notice that um, on the 27th, you need to have um, all your promo numbers in. And so you have two weeks uh, to get it in. Officially, officially, let's let's just say officially, it's the 25th. So you actually have eight days, nine days to get that, to get that stuff in. And so that is what we're um, so that's, those, those are the big plans. And then let's take a look at this real quick. Um, so I'm going to bring this up so you guys can see it. Please. Please. And promo numbers are what? Okay, so promo numbers. So real quick, here here is this, um, here's this um, spreadsheet. So these, these are promo numbers. So you're going to need to give, let's look at Fayetteville. So you're going to need to give your shipping address, where you want all the stuff going, whether you want it to come to your home address or whether you want it to come to the church address. That's up to you. VBS dates. You're going to give us how many kids you think are coming, and you're going to tell us how many volunteers you think are coming. Um, from there, you're going to give us, if you want a roadside banner, we're going to need how big that is, and your campus admin can probably give you that information because they've had to provide it for Easter and things like that, and how many banners you're going to want. You're going to want to tell us how many foyer banners you want, so when you do a table in the foyer, you have those vertical um, scroll type things, um, how many of those you're going to need, and how many bathroom posters you're going to need, so once it gets started, you're going to be able to put those in the bathroom. They're also going to do our rave card um, print for us, and so you're going to need to uh, give us a number on how many of those you need as well. So these are all the things that Creative, um, they're going to print for us uh, and print them uh, just as one bulk order to make sure that we get the, uh, uh, the best price possible. Now you can see we'll come down here to West Little Rock. Once you've got all your numbers done, you're going to put your name um, and the date that you are approving all those numbers. And so, again, you're going to give all that information. And that's what that, um, spreadsheet looks like. The registration link, I actually put it in here. Don't even worry about it. All you're going to do is you need this registration link um, we will put you as a editor, an editor of your template. As once we create the, the template, we'll both post a video and give you a template, and give you the, the um, we'll make you owners, so that when you go into planning center, you'll be able to see it under the sheets that you actually have um, creative rights on, and you'll be able to update those with pertinent both for your campus, um, as well if there's anything special that you need to gather. And so, again, those are those are the things that you, you'll be um, filling out. 
for us in, in the coming weeks. And so, and then just so you all know, um, if you're doing BBS June 12th through the 15th, then these dates are accurate. If you're doing it any later, then these are going to be a little bit later for you because you get to determine when things go live and active based upon your registration form. And, we'll, and when we post the video, we'll show how to customize all that um, when you get ready. But if you're doing 12th to the 15th, then your volunteer link is going to go live April 16th, and this is the week after Easter. And if it's not the 12th to the 15th, then the same, you're going to schedule that same thing to happen eight weeks out. Because at eight weeks out, that's when you're going to start announcing it from the stage. Eight weeks out will be your first stage announcement. The first time that um, your four-year banners start showing up, the first time uh, that rave cards uh, start going out because that's when you're going to start telling, hey, volunteers, we need you to sign up. Save the date. This is our date at our VBS. But right now, volunteer links are live and we need you to sign up. And so that is, that is eight weeks out. Um, four weeks out, and if you're doing 12th through the 15th, that's going to be Mother's Day. Um, Mother's Day uh, is when kid, the kid links go live, and that's whenever we, we start making weekly announcements. Uh, BBS is coming, BBS is coming, BBS is coming. Get your kids signed up, get your kids signed up, get your kids signed up. And so um, that, that is the plan um, for those links. Um, so anyway, uh, Megan and Justin, you guys got any, any questions about that? Uh, I don't think so. Not right now. Okay. No. Um, probably two weeks from now. Um, so this is this is promo print items. Two weeks from now, we'll start talking about ordering T-shirts um, and other merch um, that we will have available for the kids. And so over the next couple of weeks, you probably need to decide based upon your budget what your VBS shirt strategy. Are you going to give um, shirts away to volunteers and to kids, kids or volunteers? Um, we will also provide and produce lanyards um, that are themed for VBS. Um, and we'll also continue to have that gray VBS collar so that you can continue to reuse the lanyards. So we'll keep using the gray lanyards, but the the name of the name badge itself will be. And so we'll, we'll talk about ordering all those things and what the timetable is for that. And so next two weeks, here's what we're up to as VBS directors. We are pursuing our directors and coordinators. And then you are also, in the next nine days, completing your promo print item numbers by March. Um, and again, so we'll be sending out some uh, reminders of that on Slack um, just to make sure that you are on top of that. But that's the plan, y'all. That's, that's where we're headed and what we're up to. And so any questions about what you're doing in the next two weeks? It as first time leading it, truly, we're here. We're here for it. We're rocking and rolling just step by step. <laughs> okay. Awesome. Awesome. Um, any any questions about any anything just broad about VBS that y'all have that uh, you want to ask or, or know before we call it a night? Not that we can think of in this moment. Okay. Hey, y'all are awesome. Um, so, Washburns, anybody else who's watching this video later, um, you can text me um, with any questions. If you want to email Little at newlifechurch.tv or post any questions you've got on the VBS Slack um, so that everybody can see the answer to those questions. But again, next two weeks, keep, get those Get those directors and coordinators on board. They're going to make your life so much easier if you have good leaders in those positions. And then 
Um, make sure you have your promo print item numbers done by Tuesday of next week. And we'll get that, all that ordered and mailed to you. And so, Washburns, thanks for being the designated question askers this evening. And uh, we'll, we'll talk to you all later. Thanks, Kevin. Okay, bye, y'all.